to study the pollen grain germination on stigma through a permanent slide. The pollen grains or microspores are haploids and represent first cell of the male gametophyte. They show great variations in shape, size and sculpting. These features are helpful in the study of pollen grains and are called as palynology. Madam, how pollen grains are germinated? A pollen grain may germinate immediately after pollination, sorghum vulgare, or it may take even 48 hours. All the pollen grains do not germinate. The percentage of pollen grains germination and tube growth depends upon the external and internal factors. The external factors are temperature, humidity and light whereas the internal factors refer to carbohydrate, boron, calcium, enzymes, hormones, etc. High levels of boron in style and stigma are known to occur in many plants of cruciferae, leguminosae, solanacaceae, cucurbataceae, etc. Let's do an experiment to study the pollen grain germination on stigma through a permanent slide. Our aim here is to study the pollen grain germination on stigma through a permanent slide. Materials required are an opened mature flower of portulaca, glass slide, needles, cover slip, saffronin stain, dissecting microscope, compound microscope and glycerin. Procedure Take out a pistol from a fresh, opened, mature flower of portulaca or any other different plant. Stain the isolated stigma with saffronin stain. Mount the stained stigma in glycerine and place a cover slip over it. Observe the slide under a dissecting microscope. With the help of needle, take out germinating pollen and mount in glycerine and place a cover slip. Place the slide under the microscope. Observations Many pollen grains are present over the stigma. Pollen grains absorb water and other substances such as sugars and organic acids secreted by stigma. Observe many pollen grains germinating over the stigma. The thin intine protrudes out through a germ pore into a slender pollen tube. Sugary substances secreted by the stigmas stimulate further growth of the pollen tube which gradually elongates, passes through the style, enters the ovary and finally in the ovule. The pollen tube acts as a sperm carrier as well as a hostorial organ. Pollen tube carries with it vegetative or tube nucleus at its tip followed by Generative nucleus. The generative nucleus gives rise to two male gametes. Identification features. Many pollen grains are present on the stigmatic surface. Pollen grains swell up due to absorption of stigmatic secretions. Intine protrudes out to form thin, slender pollen tube. Pollen tube contains tube or vegetative nucleus at its tip followed by generative nucleus which later divides to form two male gametes. Precautions Select the pollinated pistil only. Remove the extra stain or glycerine with a blotting paper. Mounting should be free from air bubbles. Carpel must be taken from a fresh flower. Care must be taken so that pistil, particularly stigma, is not injured while isolating stigma. Thank you, ma'am. We have understood the experiment very well.